Welcome back to D20 Tactics. On this channel, I play Dungeons and Dragons with my friends, and we explore combat scenarios and play out the tactics used to defeat monsters quickly and safely, giving you more time to get back to roleplaying. I'm your host and Dungeon Master, Sarsen Zero, and today I'm joined by Blind Oracle, Azure Wolf, Fear No Equal, and Longfish. Together we'll run through typical battles that adventurers might see playing Dungeons and Dragons. This is the second encounter in an Eye Beast Lair, so if you missed the start, you can find a link to it in the description below. Grab your dice, draw your sword, and let's jump into combat. Hit points, ability spells, items in hand. Hit points 120 of 172. Great Axe plus 2 in hand. I have my Action Surge available and two Indomitables, and I used one charge on my Gem of Brightness out of 50. I am wearing one Circlet of Blasting with another in my bag. One turn. Hit points remaining. I've used up four charges on my Wand of Magic Missile. As for my spell slots, I still have all four first level, all three second, all three third, all three fourth, two fifth, one sixth. Arcane Tradition is still up and ready to go. And as for the Simulacrum, he is sitting at 31 HP, four first level slots, two second remaining, three third, three fourth, two fifth. 139 out of 139 hit points, holding a plus two short bow shooting plus one arrows the instrument of the bards on my back we have fly invisibility levitate protection from evil and good entangle fairy fire shillelagh and speak with animals still available boots of speed have nine minutes remaining currently at a 138 hit points i am holding the staff of python and shield plus two i have four level one two level two three level three three level four two level five and one level 7 spell slots remaining. I have both charges of my channel divinity. Monsters, abilities, items, and numbers. This encounter has two fire giants and two small eye beasts. Fire giants are pretty straightforward. They're huge creatures. They move 30 feet. They hit you with great swords and they throw rocks at you. They're immune to fire, as you imagine fire giants might be. But otherwise, they're just a bag of hit points in a suit of armor. Small eye beasts have 30 foot fly, with passive perception of 16 as well. They have eye rays that they can shoot two of per turn. One confuses, one paralyzes, one causes fear, and one wounds. So you're going to pick two of those. I like the paralyzing and the wounding. They also have a reaction where they can reflect spells back against you if you miss them with an attack or that they make their save. Terrain and effects. This terrain is pretty straightforward as well. You got some tunnels, you got some rocks. There's some typical terrain in here, stuff to hide behind. Not much though. These are 15 foot high tunnels, which will accommodate the giants who are also 15 feet high. Tactics, what do you guys think for tactics in this fight? Oof. Spirit Guardian, choke point the gap to the east of us? If we can get there in time. We can't choke point the eye beasts though. Try and avoid spells on those eye beasts and take down the fire giants first, I think. The eye beasts just don't do that much damage. Especially if we can force them to fire on the cleric and the fighter. Fighter, you won't haste this room? It might be better on cleric to get him into choke pointing. I'll take it if you want to throw it down. We'll see how the initiative order works. Yeah, that, I think that's the only thing, is if Cleric can go very early, it might be worth it just to get him in to separate the fire giants. Otherwise, go ahead and throw it on me. Roger that. Haste is really important. I can also throw haste. Let's go ahead and roll initiative. Anybody up higher than a 20? Anybody got between a 15 and a 20? 18-5 for the rogue. 15. Who's got between a 15 and a 10? Who's got between a 10 and a 5? Uh-oh. Who's got between a 5 and a 0? 5 on the fighter. The Giants have a 4. 4 minus 1. Rogue, you're up first. Bonus action, hide. 25. Then move out, shoot the Giant to the south. 24 to hit. 24 hits. For 42 points of damage. Great sneak die roll. And then as much movement as I can to get back into the corner. That's turn. After the rogue, we go to the wizard. The cleric was going after the fighter, right? So let's haste the fighter with a haste scroll. And my command will be to move up and shoot that giant to the south with missile. Simulacrum. Fifth level. And that is a four on the dice. Four plus one is five. Five plus five is ten. Ten times seven is seventy. Seventy points of damage to the giant. Crawl back in the hole. <laughs> can't crawl back in the hole, so do you want to block the fighter, or do you want to stand next to the rogue? I have haste, block me. Fighter, block him. <laughs> After the simulacrum, we go to the speak of the devil, fighter. Go ahead and roll out down towards the south fire giant, and then we are going to go ahead and gem of brightness this guy. No, well, that's a DC 15 contract. Yeah, do it anyway. Fire giant with a constitution save modifier of plus 10 gets a 21. Oh. Yeah. All right. Well, won't have to do that again. And that'll be it for me. After the fighter, we go to the giants. I gotta sync that simulacrum. This guy's gonna go there. Simulacrum, give me a DC 13 constitution save versus the wounding ability. 13 on the head. 16 goes to eight points of necrotic. 
Rogue, give me a DC 13 versus Paralysis. 21. 21 will pass. Down here, this Eye Beast is going to move to there, and we're going to check line of sight. I do not have it to the Simulacrum, but I do have it to the Rogue. Rogue, give me a DC 13 Constitution save versus Paralysis. 13. Now give me a DC 13 Constitution save versus Wounding. 5. 5 is going to fail. Take 17 points of Necrotic. Are you concentrating on anything? I am not. Do you like being included in the concentration checks? I do. It's fun. I am going to use my reaction to half that 17 damage. Does it have to be an attack? Because this is not. Let me look. Reactions, uncanny dodge, and attack. Yep, nope. I'll take that 17. Sorry. That guy's going to move to there, and he's going to go after the fighter, surprising nobody. So here's the great sword attack. 29 to hit you. AC is 21. 39 points of slashing damage. All fives and sixes. Second attack. 21 to hit you. 21's exactly what you need. 27 points of slashing damage. Concentrating on anything? Nope. I have no brain. I am fight. This guy is going to go... He's got a 60-foot throw, so you're at long range for the raw. We're going to throw against the simulacrum. i got to drop the nat 20, unfortunately. But we're going to stick with the 14 plus 11 is 25 to hit the simulacrum. Wow. 21 with shield. 34 points of damage with the rock. Yeah, he's down. After the giants is the cleric. Put me two spaces to the north of the eye beast. I will throw a level three guiding bolt at the giant that's already hurt. The south giant. 22 to hit. 22 hits. For 20 damage. They're lit up. Next person attacking it has an advantage. That's it. Enter in there. After that is the top of the order with the rogue. Let's go ahead and move behind the cleric. Hide bonus action. 28. 28 will do it. You're going to pop a balloon? Yeah. Pop up and shoot an eye beast. 21 to hit. 21 will connect. Guys. Guys, he's a stealth fighter versus a spy balloon. Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. Wow, that's a lot of damage. 44 points of damage? Balloon pops. Was it over water? No, it was over land. Oh, even worse. You good there? Yeah, that's fine. You know the difference between the rogue and an F-22, though? Rogue killed things other than spy balloons. <laughs> After that, we go to the wizard. Pop out and shoot that fire giant. Fireball. Not fireball. It's a magic <laughs> missile. And do, 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 do. Let's do the final two charges. Two on the dice. Two on the die plus one is three. Three plus five is eight. Eight times four is 32. 32 points of damage is going to drop the giant. You good there? You want to move? I'd like to get back around the corner, trying to get out of line of sight. After the wizard, we go to the fighter. Move to the eye beast to the south of me. We're going to drop some attacks on this guy. It's a 24 to hit. Hits. For 18 damage. Second attack. That is a crit. Might as well be. For 21 damage. Dead. Move eight spaces back around the corner towards the fire giant. Dash using my haste action to get me to the fire Ooh. giant. I have one attack remaining. You do not. You cannot break up an action with another action. Then we're going to action surge for another three attacks. 17 to hit. 17 misses. A second attack. That's a one. Third time. Wow, and that's a 15 to hit. 15's not going to hit either. So that was three misses. All I needed to roll was like a six. You're going too fast, man. you got to slow down. And that's it for Sonic the Hedgehog. After the fighter, we go to the giant. Giant's going to swing. 22 to hit you. That'll hit. 27 points of slashing damage. That's half my remaining HP. Well, you're going to enjoy <laughs> this 30 to hit you. That'll hit. Uh... 32 points of slashing damage. And that'll take me down. Frag the weak, hurdle the dead. Giant's going to advance to there. After the giant, we go to the cleric. Five spaces diagonal southeast. And I will chuck a level one guiding bolt at it. 22 to hit. Hits. 21 damage. And, and turn there. After the cleric, top of the order, rogue. I'm trying to figure out if I'm behind a real rock or not. I am not. Okay. There's a plant right here. Sure. Pop me into the plant. Let's go ahead and take the shot as is without using the hide bonus action. I have advantage from the guiding bolt. 20 to hit. 20 will connect. That will remove the guidance. For another 44 points of damage. Bonus action hide, 30 to hide. Then we'll push to the wizard. Cleric's 40 for me still, so we're good there. The magic missile level 2, 4 on the dice. 4 on the die plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 times 4 is 40, 40 points of damage. Yeah, let's move back just a little bit more. After the wizard, we go to the fighter, give me a death saving throw. It's a 9. 9 is a failure. After the fighter, we go to the giant. He's going to move to there, and he's going to go after the cleric. 24 to hit your cleric. That will hit. 26 points of slashing damage. You concentrating on anything? No. 
nat one on the second one, so that will definitely miss. He's gonna move to there. After the giant, we're gonna go to the cleric. Move me five spaces straight towards the fighter. That'll break the bone. I'm out of your reach, so I guess you have an RP. 25 to hit you. That will hit. 25 points of slashing damage. Channel Divinity. 70 hit points. Where are they going? To the fighter. You got a bonus action? You're going to hang out there. I will hang out there. After the cleric, top of the order of rogue. Let's go ahead and pop out and shoot the giant with advantage. 28 to hit. 28 hits. For 42 points of damage. Bonus action hide. 30. After the rogue is the wizard. Believe I still have a line of sight. Yeah, I think so. Another second level magic missile. Three on the dice. Three plus one is four. Four plus five is nine. Nine times four is 36. 36 is lethal. The giant drops. No other clocks are running out now, so that will wrap up the encounter. Report hit points remaining. 70 out of 172. 122 out of 139. 110. 87 out of 138. Anybody going to take pre-rest actions? I'll pop another channel divinity to get the fighter up to half. So I'll gain another 16. Hit dice used. I spend two hit dice, and I recover 17 hit points. I spend 8 hit dice and recover 86 hit points. I spend 0 hit dice because I'm full. Spending 6 hit dice, I heal 36. Any post-rest actions? Ritual cast my familiar back. Arcane recovery or no? No, not using arcane recovery yet. Call it to see what we got later on. Whatever this eye beast has collected, it's got a bunch of giants guarding the front of its lair, so it's got to have more interesting stuff deeper within. The adventurers will descend lower and find out what it has. Two encounters down, four more to go before the long rest. Thank you for stopping by, and I hope you'll join us next week as the adventure continues. I'm Sarson Zero, and I will see you next time.